Welcome to season two of MBS Live. I am so excited to bring Tim Apple. He is playing in Sonic Rocket Studio today. Let's hear it. Tim, how are you doing, man? I'm doing amazing. How are you? I'm doing great, dude. Thank you so much for being the very first episode of the season two. It's actually the first one of this year, guys. Like, I'm so stoked. Love it. And I'm so grateful that you guys are here. So I appreciate it. Can you tell me a little bit about you, all you guys, introduce yourselves and all the, all the fun stuff? Yeah, uh, we've all been playing music for a very, very long time. Um, You know, me since I was, I grew up in a a musical household, so it's always been around, family members, this and that. Um, Me and Chad have known each other for about 17 years now. Uh, We both went to music school, like, I don't know, 17, 18, 19 years ago, something like that. Um, And a couple of the members we were playing in uh, with some of the groups back uh, in the, in you know, when we first met and uh, up till now, um, which is how we met Mason. And so it's been about six or seven years and um, I'm a full-time gigging musician. So I've always needed players to play with and different stuff like that. So Mason, I forced him one day about six or seven years ago to do a corporate gig with me. And, you know, ever since then, it's, he's just been my right-hand man. Miguel is actually the newest of the group. We uh, stole him. I found him at a, we were at like an award show actually in Temecula, the Locals Choice Awards. And I saw his band play and I was like, man, this guy's just laying it down. So like I was, we just had a conversation just kind of, you know, BS and whatever. And he was like, hey, why don't you come just jam and see what happens? And he's amazing and we love him. And yeah, he's, he was the glue that we needed for sure. Heck yeah. That's awesome, guys. That's awesome. Um, so you have been, like you said, you've been playing a lot in the Temecula area, particularly. Yeah. Um, you guys record out in Rancho Cucamonga. Mason, you have a lot to do with that, right? It's at Mason's studio, uh, Fist Pipe Studios Heck in yeah. Rancho Cucamonga. Heck yeah. Well, that's awesome. Well, uh, let me talk to Mason for just a quick yeah. second about that. Mason, how long have you been recording? And, uh, doing all that fun stuff with with artists i've been doing audio production for about 10 years now and uh before that i was doing session work as a as a musician you know playing keys and playing guitar and playing bass and uh i really liked the process the the recording process um and it was a whole you know new slew of gear for me to learn about and different techniques that are, you know you set something up differently in the studio than you do if you're at a gig you know mm-hmm. so that really intrigued me um and then also just it, it was alluring because i was spending a whole lot of money to try to get my bands recorded mm-hmm. um and so uh it was kind of out of necessity that i really started getting into it and then i just kind of fell in love and and it's just been one of those things where i have you know so many music friends that that i can make stuff with that it's just kind of turned into my full-time gig you know besides playing gigs with tim and you know the other odds and ends groups uh that's pretty much all i do so yeah yeah, it's been great we're working on tim's record right now and yeah and you guys are playing a couple of tracks today for us off that new record yeah all three of the tracks are going to be on that record well heck yeah yeah. well let's get the mic back over to tim and let's talk about uh Let's talk about the first song. I believe the first one that you're going to play in this episode is uh, Live Your Paradise, right? Uh, yes, yeah. Live Your Paradise, yeah. And um, I'm a very, um, for people who no, don't know me or who know me, <laughs> um, I'm very uh, high strung and I'm very either up here or down here. There's not really any middle ground for my personality. And so um, this song is more, mainly just kind of uh, for me to, you know, it's been a journey, you know, it's been 20 plus years, uh, since I've been performing and playing and fronting my own different bands and stuff like that. And it's just about, you know, taking a deep breath, live your paradise and just, just kind of leaving it all behind and, and just living in the moment and, you know, finding your beach as, as the, I won't say the, the, the name of the beer, but you know, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Heck yeah, cause they're not sponsoring us. So they're not so sponsoring us. You know, if you want to, you know, <laughs> give us a call. Yeah, exactly. Well, awesome. Well, let's hear that song real quick. Awesome. Let's do it. In your pants, you got to live in your pants. Live in your pants. You got some, yeah. Trying to find our way 
Well, thank you guys for playing that first song for us. It was totally amazing. Um, thank you. I know you guys are about to play a couple more for us, but first, yeah. before we do that, you have a little side project that you've been doing for a while. I've been helping out a little bit, you know, a little shameless plug there, but uh, OG Juice Jams, right, with OG Juice Co.? Yeah, definitely. And tell everyone about that, because it is just completely awesome what we got going on there. Yeah, so uh, um, a local business owner, uh, uh, Will uh, Batanti. Um, that's how you say his name, right? Batanti? Yeah, I always get that messed up. Sorry, Will. Um, yeah, so he, uh, we were playing like a little tattoo festival kind of local band thing in Temecula, and there was a bunch of vendors, a bunch of different bands. It was an all-day thing, and uh, anyways, at the end of that, he approached me, and it just kind of seemed like, hey, you know, I love what you do. I love your sound. I was like, hey, you know, that's cool. What do you do? And we kind of got talking into his company and everything, and then uh, he's like, yeah, come down to the shop one day, and let's, you know, uh, talk it up and, and, you know, just just hang out, and, and I can tell you about up the, the store and blah, 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 whatever. So they're like, all right, cool, yeah. So it took me a while to get down there because busy schedule, but finally got down there, and then, uh, yeah, just we just started talking for hours and hours and hours and, and uh, just about music and uh, community and all the different um, people involved around here doing different things, uh, you know, with their businesses, uh, all the you know all the pop-up vendors, food, you know, everything, and music and my passion and his passion for reggae music and just in music in general. And so we both were just like, yeah, it'd be really cool, you know, because he saw a couple of the old things I was doing, kind of a similar thing, you know, all the uh, um, live production thing or whatever. And, you know, he's like, I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel. It's not I'm like, oh, me too. Like, I've always wanted to be behind that and like do something. So we're like, hey, let's let's try it out. And so we got a couple buddies together and and uh, just kind of put it all together. And I had the equipment and bought some new equipment and just kind of been doing it since then. And um, yeah, just built. It's just been building ever since. And we're on episode 13 now. So we bring in local bands and try to get local sponsors um, to build the community and uh, support all the local artists and everything. So uh, yeah, we uh, it's been going really amazing. We've had some really uh, some big people on there and some uh, some awesome local uh, local acts as well. And yeah, we're just 
pushing forward and making it better uh, each episode. And we finally have a nice tight knit team. Thanks to you and this guy, you know, he does all the um, post uh, audio engineering and all the production and stuff. So it makes it sound amazing. And uh, yeah, and you make the videos look phenomenal. So it's just now we just have our team and everyone gets along. Mm -hmm. You know, we're all in it uh, for the long haul. And it's not just a, you know, a side thing we're trying to do. Like we all have passion and, and love for what we're doing and just trying to give back and, and spread love uh, through uh, reggae music and just kind of, you know, rock, you know, whatever, you know, yeah. but um, yeah, so that's about it. And uh, yeah, we're just uh, every every episode's getting better and better and we're just pushing along and we got some big stuff coming up uh, hopefully this summer and some bigger uh, pop up like kind of festival, small festival kind of style things. So yeah, we're just kind of plugging away and pushing pushing forward, you know? Yeah, heck yeah. Yeah. I know when I uh, when I work with musicians and bands, you know, it's I'm not too picky, but I really enjoy people who have a vision, who have a heart for music in general. Um, as a lot of people know, I said it like a thousand times my first season of this show, but I used to be a full-time musician for about 10 years. Nice. And everything I'm doing is stuff that I wish I had the opportunity to, you know, have or do when I was playing, right? And so that's why I started this channel and giving back. And when I met you guys doing the OG Juice Jams, I, it, was, it was kind of just in sync with that and then especially too i mean this is gonna be a little sponsor segment for sonic rocket but the same thing this is a you know a music studio that was built by a musician and ran by musicians for musicians so every everyone that i work with and everything that i do like if if there's a vision and a heart behind it i mean i'm i'm all for it and i'm sure you guys are too especially nowadays um you know you really need to build a community with stuff like especially coming out of all the other stuff that happened over the past couple of years you know it's like, yeah, everyone's kind of sees all the fake stuff and, you know, everything else that came out of it. And people just want, you know, real and just real people, raw talent and all the other fun stuff, too. So, yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So I love it. So I, let, let me talk to Chad a little bit yeah. and just see you've been just slapping that bass like crazy, over <laughs> there, man. Like I was a bass guy myself. So, you know, when I when I yeah. I. I when I film things, I always make sure I get a little extra love to the bass yeah, person because I, 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 I got you. So how long have you been playing bass for, man? Um, a little over 20 years. Oh, heck yeah. So, yeah. When I, uh, when I was a kid, I, I was always drawn to the bass. It's like always the first thing I listened for and like what I was, uh, connected to. Um, but yeah, I grew up in a, uh, musical family as well. My parents had a really good taste in music, thankfully. And, uh, my dad's a drummer. And, um, so yeah, like, uh, uh, it's always been my passion and, um, uh, I just feel real grateful that I, I get to get to keep doing it and you know um play music with my friends i mean these guys are like super super talented so i feel super lucky to you know be able to pursue that and support these guys and yeah like uh it doesn't hurt that like we're all really good friends like that definitely makes a big difference i think in a keeping a a, a tight band together you know mm -hmm. what i mean yeah yeah. I know, I know. We, my band, we started as a three piece, we went to a four, then we got a five at one point, and then I got messy, and then we went back to down to a four. Yeah. And it's, you know, it, it's so good when you can find like that group of people that you could just, you yeah. know, get along with. Um, you guys have an open space that you could just talk to each other about stuff. Like, you know, not everyone's going to agree on everything, right? So, but as long as all you guys can talk to each other and just, you know, get yeah. through it and just realize again like yeah. it's for the greater goal it's for the greater mission of whatever you guys are doing right it's just hard to yeah hard really hard to keep a uh, keep a band together but it makes it all that much better when um you know you all look forward to it like we always kind of joke like it's kind of like soul food so like food for our soul like i if if we don't play for a while like i feel it and like i feel myself getting a little bit cranky or whatever and then you know when the jams start flowing then you know i'm like oh that's what i needed you know what i mean yeah heck yeah well thanks chad i appreciate that tim you have another song that you're about to perform for us all you guys not just tim you guys are performing too <laughs> but this one's called breathe easy right is there a yeah. story behind this one or um this was a song that I actually wrote a long time ago and it was I, I don't really do this with a lot of songs but it was one that i was like okay you know the hook's cool but the lyrics aren't quite right and okay i got the verses down and, and i've i've probably redone this song i don't even know five six and i kind of five six seven times and i kind of pushed it away a few years ago and then i was like you know what this this song has potential and i just need you know we just got to build it up and and it finally all came together with the help of of mason and um uh, everyone um but yeah we just you know the uh getting the production right and the structure and arrangement and everything is is key but yeah the, the song is just more of like um you know uh seeing a lot of people you know there's a lot of hypocrites out there these days and you know it's kind of like um what's the analogy um but 
I'm horrible with words, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just you know, uh, I'm not just trying to take it easy on yourself um, and and on others, and um, but at the same time holding uh, each other or yourself or you know uh, accountable. Um, and I think that's one thing a lot of people struggle with these days is you know holding yourself accountable and holding other uh, other people accountable. And and yeah, so it's just kind of like a song like that, you know, uh, trying to just take a step back, breathe easy, relax, but also like, hey, calling you out, like, hey, why are you doing that? Like, because you're not, you know, you're not practicing what you preach kind of thing you know mm -hmm. so that's kind of where the song uh, ended up evolving towards yeah heck yeah man well let's give a listen to that one let's do it Rockin up. The media songwriter solo musician a dad running all these different things you're a busy dude like you got so much yeah. going on right how do you just keep it all going uh honestly the, yeah breathing easy <laughs> le letting it free let it free yeah, um living my paradise <laughs> um what other <laughs> um Alone with you, that was my darker one. Just kidding. Um, yeah, it's just, it's it's very hard, you know. Uh, my wife and I have been together for twenty years. You know, I have a eight, almost nine year old son. Um, I, you know, 
gig four, five, six times, sometimes more a week. It's just, you know, seasons, but it's just nonstop. If I'm not playing a gig, you know, it's with the band or we're recording or, you know, it's always something or I'm, you know, writing, practicing, you know, and, and juggling family and trying to keep it all in line, you know, and it's, it's hard. Um, but I've been doing this, you know, since I was a little kid and, you know, it's, it's my passion. It'll never stop. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just me. <laughs> yeah. No, I get that, man. I get that. Well, what advice would you have for anyone that's kind of, you know, everyone's busy, right? You yeah. Know, we're all busy and busy is good because you have less time to, you know, mess around or, you know, slack off. Right. Yeah. Um, so do you have any advice for anyone that's kind of like, maybe they're trying to just get started. Maybe they already started and they don't know, you know, if they could handle all of it, if, if all this makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I think, um, you know, first and foremost, it's, you just have to be, you know, learn your instrument, you know, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, actually do some, you know, some studying and figure out, you know, how music works and, and, and at least just, you know, get a, a grasp of it. Cause you know, um, you know talent is is huge but also practicing and and uh owning it on your craft and everything makes makes it a lot easier but yeah just time management i mean i you ask my wife i suck at it but i try my best you know <laughs> but yeah. um yeah just you know always keep if, if it's your dream if it's your passion like never stop always keep pushing forward um and if it's something you really you know feel truly you know uh, passionate about then yeah i mean it's it's all gonna uh, fall into place and and uh, like you were saying earlier um it's really hard to do it by yourself so having a team um it's it makes it so much easier you know having someone to talk to about everything me and mason talk on the phone sometimes for hours a day just trying to figure all this out and pushing each other like it's we're, it's, it's, we're gonna get there <laughs> you know like you know one day at a time um it's another song um yeah. but yeah just uh just just never giving up and it's you know it's if it's your passion, it's your passion. Just, just keep pushing forward. And, and there's always going to be obstacles and ups and downs and fights and this and that, and, and you're going to feel at your lowest. And then, but those make you feel, you know, when you get up there, you know, it makes you feel like it's all worth it. You know, those mm -hmm. playing, getting together, um, recording a cool new song or, you know, whatever it is being with your, your friends and playing music. And, you know, like Chad said, it, you know, it feeds our souls. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Well, I know one person that's been like feeling it all day so far is Miguel over there. Yes, sir. A little quiet guy back over there. <laughs> so as you're passing that mic over, uh, let me let me ask you, Miguel, how long have you been playing drums for? Um, I think I started when I was like three or four years old. Holy crap! A little Tiger that's, Woods that's, on the that's drums. At least, man. That's when I got grabbed my first set of drumsticks. Yeah, and I've always, I've never let them go. That's awesome. Man. I picked up clarinet and flute for a little bit in middle school, but like I, this was always still at home. I always had a drum set, so I always came back home. This is what I wanted to do, more than video games, more than anything else. There you go. Um, and my dad, he's a musician, so mm. he always had a ton of instruments at the house. Um, I'm half Mexican, half Colombian, so oh, there there's go. a lot of music and a lot of rhythm, mm -hmm. a lot of beats and stuff that I picked up um, early on, and yeah, it just kind of went from there. I went to school, um, learned some jazz, did the whole orchestra thing too, and so I, I, I learned a little bit of everything, and with, uh, ironically, reggae is the least that I am like uh what's the word like no like i know reggae the least out of, of, of that and like probably like heavy metal like those oh, are yeah. my uh those are definitely my non-comfort zones right and yeah. so here i am playing reggae um and it's only possible because i'm playing with these guys like we had our first show um at a winery in temecula and we had no <laughs> rehearsal nothing prepared and we just showed up and it like it like clicked it, we were first three four songs it was like all right and then it just kind of picked up yeah. and we played again the next day and it was just it felt super tight and chad laying it down on the bass is just heck yeah bass and drums you are no oh, all yeah. day <laughs> oh, yeah. i learned so much about music when i had to pick up the bass for the band and then i had like one-on-one -on -one sessions with my drummer and i was like dude i don't even know music like everything leading up to that point i had no idea what the fuck i was doing yeah. because like Seriously, I did that, and I was like, okay, this is insane. So that's crazy. I am, I am one person that if I got behind a drum set, it is just 
the, the worst freaking thing in the world. <laughs> but you get me behind my steering wheel, and it's amazing. Like, exactly. I, I swear I'm hitting all the notes, right? Um, well, that's cool. I was going to actually ask you, but you answered that. Um, like, I know parents don't really... They're they're always like, oh, you really want to play the drums? Are you sure about that? But that's cool that your dad had all those instruments and yeah, you know, he he kind of gave you that space to do so. Yeah, right? I'm very thankful that they um, were patient with me because I'd be in the car just smacking those drumsticks, like yeah, trying to learn what paradiddles were, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anywhere I could take my sticks, I. Yeah. They're, they're always there so well that's awesome well you wouldn't even know like this is my first time meeting you and seeing you with this band and it's like you guys are super tight man that's, that's awesome well tim you got one last song that you're going to perform for us and that song is actually not released yet but it will be soon yeah it's our newest single called let it free so you gotta be out in a few weeks a few weeks there you go and yeah. he's saying a few weeks as of recording but do we know like the date yet not yet, but it'll probably be about two, f uh, I don't know, we're going to do a Monday? Yeah, early, early April. April. Yeah, what are we in? Yeah, probably early, yeah, early April sounds right. There yeah. we go. So by the time you guys are hearing this, it has already dropped. And you can check it out everywhere. <laughs> yeah, everywhere you can see it. Um, so far, I'm going to say this one time, and I'll probably say it a thousand more times now that I said that. Um, all the links are in the description of the video. Please go and check them out. I make it so easy so you can just do the one click, and you're exactly where you need to be, exactly where we told you to be. Let's hear this song. Let's do it. Let it free. It's funny I think that things will never change. The pieces on the board, some outs will look the same. Get quite seen back, good look in the mirror. Your reflection says one thing. Love about you, that's you make my sense. Let it be. song is so cool 
Thank you. And I know, um, you know, another shameless plug. I took some photos for you. We were having some fun. Yeah. Did a little little Hakuna Matata, a little Lion King shot with your guitar. That was fun. He did the album photo work. That album photo work is that? I don't know if that sounds weird, but yeah. Cover. Single. I'm like, oh yeah. Sorry. See, I can't even talk. The single. Yeah. He did the single cover artwork. It came out amazing. How did that song kind of come about? Um. Kind of similar ish, but yeah, just um, you know, being you know, I've uh, going on like a gotten a little dark, I guess you could say, but you know, I suffer from a lot of anxiety, a lot of trauma from when I was little, grew up pretty crazy uh, uh, environment, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, you know, but um, so just kind of not you're not seeing the the light at the end of the tunnel you know and and you're just uh just depression and anxiety is just getting the best of you and and just you know letting it free and and realizing that it's it's going to be all right you know what i mean so that's kind of the gist i guess you could say of this song just let it free and take all your worries and anxiety and stress and just throw it out the window Heck yeah. <laughs> or do your best to anyway <laughs> yeah um do you think a lot of that is why you were drawn towards uh reggae as a as a genre in itself or yeah i've i've uh, i come up from listening to all sorts of music uh i mean when i was little it was gospel you know i grew up singing in the church and stuff at five years old you know i was thrown up on stage singing solos for the choir and and you know picked up trombone at you know fourth fifth grade and then just started just picking up instruments picked up guitar at like 11 or 12 and and so it just all kind of you know music was just there and it came into fruition but um i've always been you know a fan of the you know grew up you know in junior high and even before you know uh, at late elementary junior high the punk rock the the mm-hmm. ska um the 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 reggae sublime kind of rock reggae west coast stuff and it's i've always listened to that since i was a kid you know all those different types of bands um and so it was just one of those things where I didn't want to scream and play metal anymore. You know, I was yeah. like, I need to like relax and have fun and play music. So I was like, you know, let's, let's, let's switch this up a little bit. So yeah, that's kind of where that transition came. Um, but yeah, it was, it was more of the punk rock and kind of metal stuff before that, you know, yeah. years and years and years ago, but. Well, heck yeah. I know a lot of, uh, a lot of people like, um, the, the genres that they listen to, it's, it's a lot of like, you know, their story, their upbringing, how they, you know, right. what they gravitated towards. Right. So me, I was punk rock cause I needed to freaking kick something, you know, exactly. I mean? it was like, same. I, I grew up in a great house and a great safe environment and I needed some danger in my life. You know, yeah. I was like, I'm going to freaking get in a mosh pit right now. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. I mean, you know, that's, that's what you do. It's your, um, it's your therapy, right? You go mm-hmm. go to a show and you mosh and get all sweaty and beat up and then you go home. You're like, all right, I'm good. Yeah, good. <laughs> I got it out. And it's, it's safe. It's cool. You fall, people pick you up. It's yep. all good. You know, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. My first show, there was this really big freaking like 300 pound Mexican dude. And it was my very first show ever. It was at this old venue. It's not here anymore called the vault. And it was in Temecula. Yeah. I remember it. Dude, like locked in on me and freaking just like hit me i went flying across the room i woke up on the couch that they had there there was like this girl like are you okay and i was like what the fuck just happened (laughs) and i was like i'm doing this for the rest of my life i was like this is awesome (laughs) like loved it um well, cool. So the whole album is kind of coming together, right? And, yeah, know, we're releasing singles here and there. Or? Yeah, we're just you know dropping a lot of singles. We got a couple cool covers coming out just to you know catch people's attention. It's some fun stuff that people haven't really been doing, and just to kind of get a vibe out. But yeah, just we're gonna release a bunch of singles, and then after that's said and done, then you know we'll put it all together and put an album out. But yeah, just trying to you know this this project is is pretty much brand new mm-hmm. um so we're just trying to get it all together get some uh traction you know start building up a fan base and everything and and then from there you know once we kind of see what's working and what's not then we can kind of construct the full album and and really know where to go with it you know okay, but yeah awesome. most of these songs will be on there you know we'll probably add a bunch more it might mm-hmm. take some out but you know how that works you know it's yeah trial and error it's all the yeah. fun just keep the other ones and have demos for when you're famous yeah. and just be like hey here's the unreleased <laughs> album besides yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Always get the deluxe, man. You get a little fifteen track. Heck yeah, I will. Um, <laughs> that's awesome, man. I know, uh, especially nowadays, there's so much stuff online. I mean, that's a big thing I do on my channel too, is try to break up all the bull- bullshit that came out of COVID. You know, and all yeah. this like everyone became a social media expert all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like you know, uh, there's a lot of pressure for musicians. It's like every six weeks I need to release a song. Every right. four weeks, and I, I love talking to Mason about this because he is the most jaded out of all of us <laughs> when it comes to social media. Man, he is like, fuck that shit. I'm done. Man. Yep. There is no way to do it. Just do it. Yeah. I'm like yeah, true. That, but it's that, it's true. I mean, it's like all these people make up these rules. Like he said, you know, mm-hmm. he's told me, you know, why are we following all these rules? Like why we why can't we just 
do what we want just mm-hmm. put stuff out who cares the timeline or this and that or you know so he he helps me with my um, um obsessiveness and um uh what's the term uh <laughs> yeah I'm, i know what you mean i know what you're saying and i'm not trying to paint you like a bad guy at all i'm just i'm just saying it's it's the truth everyone needs that a little bit and, yeah and it's so funny because some of my content that i put out is like people are like are you sure you do marketing man because you don't sound like i was like no i'm just you need to stop listening to everyone else like yeah i'm not saying i know everything i'm right. just saying like have fun with it, release it, and be real, and that's going to connect with the most people out of anyone else. Exactly. And yeah. if you're building a community and you're taking your time with it, and you can actually like breathe a little bit, and actually like you know, when someone comes up to you at a show and have an actual conversation instead of thinking about, oh crap, well, okay, now I need to release, and now I need, you know, yeah, it, you can't f- function that way, and and some people can, but you know, for the most part, like it's it's just. We're trying too hard, you know. And just yeah, I mean, and there's so much work. I don't think the uh, the average person, you know, mu- we know the mu- the musicians, the behind the scenes, the production, the recording, you know, all that stuff. Like it's it's a lot. I mm-hmm. mean, people don't realize how much goes into this. How many times I had to get babysitters, he had to get babysitters, or we're driving, or we're yeah. going all over the place trying to make this stuff work. And it's like like scheduling we were talking about earlier. It's it's hard, but mm-hmm. you know, we make it happen. And at times it's super stressful, and just we're like, man, it's okay. Let's just keep our eye on the prize you know but yep. like it's all worth it you know and it's just um yeah when you like chad said when you meet a group of guys like this you know and it, it all comes together and everyone's transparent and mm-hmm. and um we get along you know we, we hang out and it's, it's not just like oh hey it's a job all right see you later bye yeah you know like we all can get along and and we know each other's families and stuff and it's really cool and miguel even you know even though he's new like his parents met him you know last show and super amazing people super nice and yeah it's just it's becoming a tight tight knit tight tight, tight yeah. knit little group tight knit little group i can't even talk tight go. knit little group <laughs> <laughs> well that's that's what it's all about and that's the biggest thing that i'm trying to just you know help out musicians with is like you know we're all busy we all can't do like these big content things so right. that's why i started the show help them with that that's why you started og juice jams with yeah. will um and it's just you know that's that's literally all it's all about and that's all i'm going to say for this this year the next year unless something changes but for the most part if you're authentic you're real and you have a group of people that you can work with yeah that's that's what it's all about i tried doing everything by myself for many years and you just get burned out and Mm -hmm. it's just it doesn't work you know and then you get five six seven eight people all all of a sudden with the same vision you're like oh man like yeah this is going so much faster and it's so much more fun and this is like what we need you know there's no there are no i and team yeah exactly (laughs) Um, well, cool. Well, where can people find all of your music? How can they support you? Um, I know you got some sick merch that you, you know, have at your shows. Yeah. And I'm about to set up the online store. So I'm trying to figure out all those logistics, but yeah, I do have shirts right now for sale. If you see me at a gig or a show, uh, those are all for sale. Uh, timapplemusic.com is where you can find everything. It's a one-stop shop with to all my links, all my music. You can find everything on there, videos, photos, me picking my nose, stuff like that. So heck yeah. Yeah. I, I did not shoot you picking your nose. I'm just saying. Uh, it's it's at the very bottom of page four. <laughs> page four. <laughs> um, well, sick. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in, playing, and doing all that stuff. Thank I you want, for having us. Yeah, most definitely. I want to thank the guys behind the scenes. Yeah. Here at Sonic Rocket. Sonic Studios. Rocket. Thank you guys. It's so amazing. Yeah. If you guys haven't been here yet, you got to come check this place out. It is phenomenal. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. It's a breath of fresh air being in a studio like this again. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for having us. Yeah, most definitely. Thank you. And if you guys are in the Fallbrook, Temecula, Riverside, all that area, please come on down. Again, the link is in the description for Sonic Rocket. I just want to thank them. I can't thank them enough because they are my very first sponsor on YouTube. And it's just, it's phenomenal. I'm just glad that I've I've been able to meet people like you, people like them, and help supporting this channel so I could help supporting you guys and you guys and all of you guys. So, (laughs) thank you so much. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button make sure you go and check out all the links of everything we just said again i make it so easy and drop a comment if there's anything that maybe i missed maybe you guys want me to talk about show whatever it is um yeah thank you so much i appreciate it yeah thank you very much appreciate you much love